Well, you've likely heard the phrase, I watched my life flash before my eyes. Well, a group of researchers wanted to know what it felt like to get as close to death as possible with the use of psychedelic drugs. Joining us now from London, England, is Christopher Timmerman with the Psychedelic Research Group at Imperial College London. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me, Ben. Well, I don't know much about uh, this science, but I have seen the movie Flatliners. And uh, the tagline for that movie is, some lines just shouldn't be crossed. Why do this study in the first place? Well, basically, the, the whole study, the whole idea of uh, using DMT to model near-death experiences or to use DMT in general is for us to get a wider understanding of conscious experience. So uh, the way that people usually treat consciousness is in this... Uh, line that goes from unconsciousness to consciousness and consciousness being something like a coma state or the dreamless state and consciousness being the awake state. So we're trying to really get a grasp of the wider spectrum of consciousness by administering in a safe and controlled manner uh, psychedelic drugs, including DMT, to model near-death experiences. So, so when you say model near-death experiences, what exactly did these volunteers experience and how did the findings compare to people who have had near-death experiences? So the, the usual experience that people go through with DMT, and many of our, of our participants reported the same as well, is this uh, very striking experience of uh, this feeling of leaving the body um, at the beginning of the experience and then having this very definite and important sense that they're accessing some sort of alternate uh, dimension or alternate reality, and in that reality encountering entities and beings. And this is very strikingly similar to what people report when they go through these uh, near-death experiences. And, it w um, and these were some of the yeah, bigger overlaps. Yeah. Well, oh, well, my, my question was, um, is this a universal feeling? Uh, are these universal results? Or um, are some people coming back from that state and saying, you know what, I, 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 did, I, didn't, I don't remember anything? No. All, all the subjects were able to tell something about their experience, except, especially when they were guided through a an interview method that allow them to really recapture those feelings better. Um, the experience is usually very, very striking, at least uh, the one in the, in the, in the DMT state. In near-death experience, uh, the scenario is a bit different. Uh, near-death experiences are reported only by a fraction of those people undergoing these uh, near-death states. So it is variable between people, yeah. Christopher, thank you so much. We wish you the best of luck with your study. Oh, thank you for having me again, Ben.